going on guys welcome back to 31 days of halloween and welcome back to vinyl week i'm posting a video every day in october and this week is vinyl week and i'm posting a collection video which i posted at the beginning of the week and then every day i'm opening a new album today is three from hell yesterday was devil's rejects the day before that was house of a thousand corpses um, and check out the other ones i did reanimator bride of reanimator brain damage bunch of cool stuff so um yeah definitely check me out and I'll be posting top 10 lists, movie reviews, all kinds of good horror stuff. So let's crack this open. Um, the soundtrack was great. I'm going to be real honest. I was not a massive fan of the movie. I need to give it another chance and rewatch it. Um, we're going to go ahead and open this. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with Waxwork Records, they are like the Cadillac of genre horror and soundtrack vinyl. There's a couple, there's a bunch of great companies, don't get me wrong, I don't want to disparage anybody else's work, but Waxwork, man, they really do a fantastic job with their stuff. I mean, it's just gorgeous. I'll try to show the whole thing. I'm trying not to get the whole thing out of frame there. I can't see my viewfinder very well. So there's the front and back. Gorgeous artwork, newly commissioned artwork there. Now this arrived damaged, I wasn't too stoked about that, and then I procrastinated, and I never got a replacement, and of course now this is sold out, and it's out of print, and I don't, I don't have a pristine copy, which kind of sucks, but the other ones are good, House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Rejects are okay, so. The movie did have a cool look to it. Um, it was really gritty, had the funny Mexico look, but uh, ultimately the movie just didn't work for me from beginning to end. Um, started out all right, and I don't know, this isn't a movie review. I know a lot of people like the movie, so I'm not gonna, I'm not reviewing the movie right now. We're not gonna talk about that. Keep it positive, right? Positive 2020. That, and this is just the uh, track listing here. Faith to Arise, I can't, like I said in the other ones, uh, Terry Reed, is, I discovered him through um, House of a Thousand Corpses, the soundtrack on that, and I tried to stream his stuff, and that's another important thing that I always say is to um, get, your, get your physical media, because things disappear digitally. You can't always listen to the music you want to, or watch the movies you want to, unless you own it physically. Um, because there's a lot of songs, especially on soundtracks, when you go back to try to listen to them or stream them, you cannot find certain songs because people hold the rights to them. They don't let them go and they're not just available. That's why you got to get these physical copies and you'll always have the music and the movies you want to watch and listen to. That's the, just the best way you can combat the digital disappearance of your favorite songs in film or the editing. You know, everything, they've been censoring things and... Pretty soon they'll be cutting out all the things they don't want you to listen to in the music and editing music digitally, unless you own a physical copy of it. So if you love something, buy it on wax, buy it on Blu-ray, all that good stuff. There's some like little interviews here and some blurbs and these are all unreleased set photos. It's kind of cool. These are in all three of these, uh, all three of the um, movies, all the waxwork soundtracks all have this nice book. This really high quality colored book. They all come with this. Of course, they brought in uh, Richard Brake, I think is that his name? Robert Brake, Richard Brake in there to kind of cover for Sid Hag, who wasn't, Sid Hag, Sid Hag, who wasn't feeling too well. Such, such a bummer about him. I wish he could have been in the third one a little bit more. That blood red vinyl, it's kind of see-through. You can kind of see through it, um, but it's mainly just like a blood red vinyl. The other... The other ones are really cool. House of a Thousand Corpses is like a clear with blood splatter. It looks really awesome. There may have been a couple variants, but these are the ones that I got. Looks so cool. And we'll go through the other one. Looks like it's the same 
same color. Looks like this one's kind of a pink. So they are slightly, slightly different. This is more um, see-through, and it's got a couple different shades in there. It's got kind of a metallic sheen to the uh, splatters in there. Really cool. Just gorgeous vinyl. Mr. Baggy Britches, that... <laughs> I mean, that scene was kind of funny, but in context of the movie, the, I forget his name. What's his name? Um, I don't know. The redhead kid's brother, Clint Howard. The scene was funny, but it was just absolutely pointless. That's, that's, that's how I would sum up three from hell pointless. And I'm sorry if I pissed people off about that. I was just disappointed in that movie. I, I was such a massive, huge, huge fan of House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Rejects, and I just felt a little shortchanged. I felt a little let down by, thir by Three from Hell, um, but uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. So there it is, guys. That is it. Uh, that's it. Enjoy that. Um, I'll be having videos coming every day for the rest of the month. Those definitely, definitely check me out for the rest of the month. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Stay weird. Until next time. Bye. I love movies. Gosh, I love movies. I love watching them, and I love making them. Nah, I can't do it.